Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a little bit more on Hands of Fate. Well, Hand of Fate, I should say. Um, let me make sure stream's working right. Once again, everyone, sorry about the stream quality. Um, based on everything we see, my internet should be fine. It's possible it's just Microsoft's end of things, simply because, especially because they have been pushing Beam rather than Twitch to stream, so it's possible that that's affecting things since Beam is a uh, first party for them. Um, but anyway, let's get jump. Let's jump right on in. It has been some time since you last sat oh, at the table. Turn my TV Let us just begin a bit. again. Win this round, and you will your first true prize, my cup. Ah. Story mode. Queen of Dust. Curses, money bags, and combat the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. Bandit Queen was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years, she has bribed and murdered her way to her current position as second in command of the Desert Thieves, proving herself capable of ruthless cunning. The. Uh, Even when you face the Queen of Dust again, what will you tell her? She has no use for men like you with noble causes That's in good. their heart. So let's get started. Now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. Rockfall. Yes, yeah, gold gains, which makes sense for her curse. I just got. I just started watching. Rick and Morty. I'm on a season two now. I'm. It saddens me. I've not watched more. Of I've that added some now. cards to spice up the game. In addition Let's, to the pain and game oh, it's the maiden decks, again. there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. So let's see. Uh, stop to greet you. Um, I'm just gonna do longer life again for this one. Yeah, especially seeing all the More health board games with. based on Much episodes. Good mate to you. Um. Um. Generated a lot of interest for me. I finally sat down and watched it. Um. I will just go to the right. Landlocked lover. Ooh. It's a new. Uh, Win this and deal, claim like my token. Quest. And the door to the landlocked lubber opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap in a tomb. The proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid smelled a kraken? Um... I will say I've never seen a kraken. Consider yourself lucky. There's no more fouler beast than a kraken. I'm Carlo. Welcome to the Landlocked Lover. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth of st and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard the rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Nolowich. No survivors, no witnesses. Nolowich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what's really happening there. Perhaps you could have look have a look after. Uh, perhaps you could have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlos gest Carlo gestures to the empty, damp-ridden flea hole that he calls a home. The card's token is now yours. Take the token. It is yours. Oh, that was simple enough. I think that unlocks the next piece of this quest line. Mr. Lionel. Well, you're handy. Once again, he shows up, and this will get me a shield. Ask him what he needs. See, do I get the good shield? I just get basic shield. Any shield's better than no shield. Well, we know where the exit is. Oh, it's hit your eye. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. You found a friendly traveler willing to let you ride on his wagon. You've discovered the exit to this area. Hit your ride. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools. New abilities. We have far to go as yet. 
That is definitely true. We still got good ways to go. So what are you? Helpful priest. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no trap with any of it. <laughs> Meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Depends on which old gods, I mean. If it's like the old gods in the universe, or if, or if it's like the old gods, like Cthulhu and them. In this case, you know, if it was Cthulhu, I, I would definitely go through. Um, do I want a blessing that bad? It's going to cost me half my food. I'll do it just to show off blessing. Oh, successes are huge successes. A choice. Um, Select your desire. Meh. He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw a blessing card. The card's token is now yours. Will the gods Blessings start each combat? Blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Yeah. Unless you die, of course. Then you're uh, back where you Random began, opponents highlighted. That always. creature is the first to die. Then it pops out five gold, which the player may collect. Well, it's not exactly yeah blessing against the uh, queen. Twisted Every canyon. step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. I, I'm going to have to climb down and retrieve the weapon. I've only got one shot of failure, so... Nice. Way to the bottom. Ooh, Frostfang. Uh, equipment with this tray is imbued with glacial power. Lizard men are especially susceptible to ice damage. Each hit slows the target with cold. Press left, left bumper to shoot a cone of ice. Definitely equipping it. Are you sure that's the right approach? Yes. Ooh, traveling tinker. This is a new one. In the shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Tinkers sell items of all description. Approach the shop. But yeah, I can't believe I hadn't watched Rick and Morty. Some of it was watching um, Jacksepticeye play through the uh, virtual reality VR thing. Um, definitely helped generate some interest. Uh, let's look at his items. I've not got only about 10 gold. Explorer's Helmet, Damocles, Fortitude's Breath, Chains of Rage. Yeah. Uh, buy food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Buy a couple more things of food. It means I'm low on gold, but that's actually not a bad thing in this case. Yes, I want to leave the shop. But yeah, it's it's the way the whole way, uh, particularly Justin Roiland's uh, delivery of it. Um, we're gonna go to the left. Stairs. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. Uh, I'm gonna turn back for now. So I want to see what that other card is. Don't need the tinkerer again. Pass it by. Worst part is Song of the White Minotaur. The worst about this is it costs food. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. The Mug and Barrel Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. You arrive there weary from your adventures, but tonight's entertainment convinces you to settle by the hearth for a while. Hours pass and the crowd starts to thin. The bar begins to move around the room, playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum, and is, and is then generously tipped for leading a group of blacksmiths in a raucous chorus of foul language aimed at the folks from the next town over. He approaches you. Well, 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 what do we... We do have here a most distinguished adventurer. No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash tribalism will do. You, sir, merit a stirring, ba a stirring ballad of bloodshed, heroism, and death. The bard sings for you the fable of the White Minotaur, a legendary beast who is master of both might and magic. Its power is such that it has felled every adventurer, bounty hunter or treasure seeker it has ever crossed. At the close of the song, the bard leans in close to you and whispers, the White Minotaur is no myth. I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if he were its, lo as if he were its long shadow. I'd wager that any adventurer would be interested in the tales he told, told me over supper. All yours for a small donation. 
Ooh, there's a chance for huge failure here. Um, we're gonna stay with the first one. Oh, all yours for only 15 gold, which I don't have. I have to refuse. My apologies. I mistook you for someone with a sense of adventure. Yeah, you took. You didn't take into account I'm a person who's broke too. Sadly, that was not an encounter that gave me gold. Ooh, oh, we got two food. Your and if I'm around food, low. can you press on? I'll have to. Um. You are close on her trail, and more confident than I had imagined. Um. Perhaps you will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. Let's see. Rockfall. Ooh. A terrifying walk to get to the queen. Well, so near the many coast, potential you hear a rumble places for an assailant to get the upper hand. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Attempt to dodge the rocks. Ooh. This is not going to be pleasant. Uh. Ah. Awfully, you are struck by several rocks. Dealer, dealer draws you one pain card. Lose 15 oh max health. Oof. Just when you think it's over, you're knocked unconscious by a large rock, striking your unprotected head. Good warrior warrior always well, wears a helmet. God, I can't talk. You remember hours later when you awaken to find some of your supplies are missing. The, G the dealer draws you two cards. Lose five gold. Well, Ouch. only had two. Lose one food. Ooh. That's not good. I'll the just deeper press on you home. go, the greater the risk of starvation. Yes, call for the priest. In a shady grove being a fine traveling merchant. Yeah, yeah. Priest has some skills in tending wounds, but they excel at removing curses for a price. Um, approach the shop because I might be able to sell my sword. That might heal me. I might be able to buy provisions. Will you sell your weapons for a square meal? Wow. It's like he knew. Wait. Uh, shit. Uh, Frostfang's equipped. I didn't sell the... Apparently, I can't sell the basic sword. Shit. I'm going to have to leave. Damn. Another nine down. Indecent arrival. We play for a token now. You're minding your own business in a local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst through the doors, grab a young man from the bar, and manhandle him outside. One patron bursts out in protest, but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. Follow the masked attackers outside. Yes, I will follow. You follow the masked man outside. Immediately, you're confronted by a large crowd, all wearing masks. The leader speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witness what we're about to hear. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but you have no idea of our troubles, so I'll ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice. We have no time for objections. The crowd turns and drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light into the distance. Once the light fa has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them, and, to your surprise, they're gathered around a yawning portal that whirls in them with malicious portent. Despite their disguises, it's obvious that none of the hooded figures relish the sight before them, and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulder of six people, as though they were his coffin bearers, and he is already dead. The young man's struggles are subdued by, by bonds of rope. Will you interrupt the ceremony? Um... Good question. Will I interrupt the ceremony? Yes. You burst for, forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but you gain no support. The leader eventually speaks above the crowd. 
If this man is so adamant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps we should, he should go himself. You're immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong for you. You cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. Well, that's not nice. You fall to the ground with only a gentle jolt. You find yourself in a forest that bears a strike the most striking resemblance to where you just were, but with two very significant differences. The crowd of masked onlookers are gone, and the sky burns with bright red flames. Out of the sulfur and flames emerge four hell beasts. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. I've not run into them. I believe this is part of a new a quest that was DLC that was not part of this long ago when I first played. Weapon ability, okay. Like rat men. Whew. Gained five gold already. After you destroy the last hell beast, the portal stirs back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex, before being deposited back into the leafy forest you were ejected from earlier. The card's token is now yours. Nice. Okay. Health's not the greatest, but... Queen of Dust. Noble causes turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Well, again, a token is at stake. You found the Queen of Dust. Who else is she summoned with her? I can't imagine she's by herself. She is, it'd be great. I'm down it. Yo. Know, not quite half health. Yep, two of dust. Ooh. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. Gobble upgrade, stronger counterattacks, increased stun, new starting gear, bandit strengths increased, skeleton strengths increased, and bandits have now throwing knives. 
So yes, bo boost for me and boost for them, because the balance must be maintained. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. Let's see what I'll have taken them got. from me in mere moments. Me with Carlo of the Landlocked Lover gave me this card. Smuggler's Wharf. Next step in the process. Dealing with the helpful priest you will receive. Gain of 15 health. Healer's ring. Charity. Retrograde into the Underworld you receive. I think it's Alicia in Underworld. He's gotta be for the Queen of Dust. Jack of Plagues. Asleep in the Forest. If that were Jack of Blades, that'd be a different story. Field of Poppies, Battle at Brooktop. Yeah, another reward. Let's see. Fleet Cuffs, Armor of Cold, Huge Hammer. Come, play again. Yes, we will. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? Definitely, I would say so. Yes. Jack of Plague. Twice the fall player loses five gold for every fall and ten gold for every huge fail and two, ten gold for every huge failure chance card. Here is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat and evil with that hatred. The Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow from ah, your bones. The rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the, the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. One of those ones, especially a little later on, I may customize a little bit more, but right now, let's take a look. I think this is the... Oh, no, these are the fates. Uh, starting equipment has changed. Uh, let's see. Huge Hammer Frost Fang. I contract Damocles, consuming shame. Nice. Okay. Let's go on to the Jack of Plague. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. Whoa. But yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely waiting to find out some more info on the, the actual tabletop version of this when it happens. It's been kind of a... We've not gotten a lot of news yet. Ooh. Interesting choice. Um, gotta go north first. Huh. <laughs> I found One the stairs. One more step down, and we may see the end of uh, this, or another set of stairs. Damn. Well, I didn't think I would get that. Um, go to the south. The Twisted Canyon. Well, getting a better weapon is definitely a uh, huge boost. Which shouldn't have much issue. I say, unless I get the failure. So let's see what weapon. Frostfang again. Um... Now let's explore this level of maiden. You might think the world of the cards is... I'm gonna ask for supplies. Yet, even in the Get darkness, two food games. there is light to be found. Three. Grand total of six. Good. Uh, okay, yeah, she's... And Mr. Lionel. Wow, I got, like, the best, like, starting group I could have. So this should get me the shield. Oh, it's just one equipment card. Move quickly from here. There is little material gain to be made. So I got a new helm. Show me it again. 
So now that that card's changed, so it's no longer just getting the shield. Descend ever deeper so take into the, stairs, the subterranean pit. Make our way a little further Each down. of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. Yes. Which continues to beg the question. Uh. Okay, it is equipped. Um, which continues to beg the question, what is the dealer? Sleep in the forest. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You're quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hand signaling that it means no harm. Its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already? Has this place already corrupted you so? I'm gonna lower my weapon. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. The dealer draws you one food gain card and the card's token is now yours. Another three food. Well done. New token. Nice. Tokens are always handy. Anything gets me more cards. River. How will you cross this time? Uh, spy. Water's clear. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to cross the river. Only got one chance of failure. Whew. Bear with huge success. Uh, you reach the other side, cold, wet, and unharmed. If only been a huge success, I'd have gotten something out of it. Traveling healer. Which right now, I don't really need. Uh, I'm gonna pass it by. I've got no. I don't need the health, and I've got no curses. So, help the priest. It amuses me to watch them theorize, to attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. Yes, you meet a wandering pin. Yes. Sorry, I can't I'm not I cannot give you half my food. No? Well I'm sure you won't need the help of the gods where you're going. Farewell. I'd like to help you, but hit your own. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Hmm. I mean that's definitely an interesting thing to say. Tell us what a little bit more about our background. The game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. I'm silent because it's a video game character. I'm not allowed to speak to you. I don't have dialogue options. Ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, <laughs> eh? Slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw a monster card. Two of skulls, so skeletons. And they're tougher skeletons, that. Yes, it's gonna be the downs that's the downside. As you get further in, the enemies get tougher as well. well I only have my axe. <laughs> pretty well. Did I start with a shield? Oh, maybe that's why I didn't, it's not guaranteed on the shield anymore. Uh, while searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill them. Uh, choose from these so options. Choose the first card. Quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The dealer draws you three gains. Draw an equipment card. Huge hammer. Sometimes form follows uh, function and vice versa. Really... In this case, it's called a huge hammer. You take <laughs> a guess. So yes, the more I chain together my moves, the greater the damage, and I get a force explosion from my yes. I will equip it. 
Gain five food. Gain twenty gold. Nice. Um. So yeah, that's handy. Ooh, devil's choice. Though I admire his ilk, I live by very different rules. Cloak Devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your strength, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Uh, go for dust. Ooh. And they're a little bit stronger. You're no mighty hero. I'll let you live with your choice. I mean, the other choices were weaker. I chose the most, uh... That was pretty, pretty easy. I say there was nothing really tougher. Uh, excellent, you have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time I pass, I'll kill you myself. So three more gains. Another equipment. Damocles. A classical approach to dealing with crowds. Artifacts Game give you health. powerful abilities to use in combat. Yes, which I've run into that before. And 15 gold. Thankfully, I'm not cursed on this one, so... Well, gold doesn't affect it. Ratmen hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. Simple upon a Ratman hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. Four plague. This shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Plague by name. And plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. Ah. I thought my swing was going to be in there quick enough. Ah. Ah. Nice. A little overkill, but nice. Cover some food from the rat carcasses. I get one food gain. Which, I mean, eh. It's not bad, but I could have gone with something a little bit better. Let's see. Traveling jeweler. It's a new one. A uh, jeweler specialized in selling artifacts and rings. Such an exquisite market demands high prices. I've got a bunch of gold, so let's take a look. I think there may be one more area, one more level to this one. I'm not sure. Let's see. Buy items. Consuming shame. Oh, powerful poison. For every third combat. Uh, right bumper. Nah. Healing. They also gain one gold. Um. How much? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. Doesn't really help me much. None of them are terribly great. Let's see. Force escape. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Path forwards will take you into the forest. You have discovered the exit. Yeah, take the forest path. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. I feel like there was something I was going to bring up, and I can't fortune. remember. No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. <laughs> of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. I mean, the, the having the cards flying through the air is kind of a good show that the White Council won. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. 
Yeah. As dusk settles, you arrive in a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. Locals are gathering at a shabby looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice raised in anger. They took all our gold and food, one peasant wails. Will nobody stand up to them? Offer to help. They went that way, not an hour ago. We easily catch up with the band of ruffians. They seem overly confident or in no rush. As you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Kill him, he commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. The dealer draws you two monster cards. Oof. Two dust, three dust. So there's five of them. Well then. This will be interesting. Man, this is gonna bug me. I, I, I swore there was something I was gonna bring up, and now I don't now remember. Now we begin to raise the stakes. Oh crap! The arena itself will fight against you. Beware oh, of yeah. my traps. <laughs> okay. Just got you guys come to me. Damn it. That did me a mischief. Gather the stolen supplies and return them to the villagers, saying, Those bandits will trouble you no longer. Well, they weren't bandits, Chal explains. They work for the White Council. It was our turn to give tribute. The card's token is now yours. So yeah, that's going to cause them trouble in the long run. Goblin King's Hall, one. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. <laughs> one night, as you lie in a forest clearing, you are disturbed by the sight of a shadowy figure watching from the darkness. Well met, the goblin exclaimed, stepping into the light and sitting by the fire. Just the armed warrior I've been seeking. Uh, ask him to elaborate. The goblin makes himself comfortable. My name is Mr. Lionel. Shock of shocks. And I have a tale of woe to share with you, and perhaps an opportunity for you to make a tidy profit from my misfortune. He goes on, goes on to tell the story of his troubles with the king of the goblins while lamenting his subsequent banishment from the goblin community. The king could have shown leniency, he concludes, given that his daughter and I were both drunk from the excellent Dolzean brandy served at his cor coronation. Ooh. Instead, he opted to make his first official act my banishment. The fool will regret it, though, for now it is time for revenge, he says eagerly, taking out a strange amulet. For hundreds of years, the goblin kings have gathered treasure and hoarded it in a series of enchanted and ever-changing treasure vaults. Only the king goblin himself knows where this vault treasures, where his treasure vaults are hidden. But now I have a way to find them. I just need a lock of elven hair to complete this magical device. I'll accept the task. Because why not? Excellent. Just get the hair by any means possible. Don't worry. I'll find you again once your quest is complete. Card's token is now yours. With that, he returns to the shadows and sits down beneath a bush, watching you. That's a little creepy. Local peasant. Hungry mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clearly, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my, fa on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. Um, I think I can sport, afford to spare five food. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You've given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as thanks. Draw one gloves card. This card's token is now yours. Do I have gloves? Ah, fleet cuffs. Increases the wearer's movement speed. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. Oh, there's another level. Your prize. That can definitely be kind of handy, though. Getting the look ahead. I still have another layer to go. Shop. 
Okay, yeah, general shops offer a lot of things. Let's go see what they've got, because I definitely will probably buy... S might buy some more food. Um, but there's definitely going to be more a, a greater likelihood of more useful things here. So let's, let's look at the items. Some shame. Healer's ring. Uh, I've already got a shield. No one wants 40. Uh, why not? Poison. Uh, it's the tool of the traitor. Well, uh, yeah, I'll buy it. Interesting and choice. I'll it. Buy food. Buys us one more food. Um, that should be enough. Might as well use my gold for something. And we'll move on to the next area. It's better how than deep trudging this goes. on the muddy road. Certainly. Hush. Ooh. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? No, I can't. Charity. Ah, the wandering mendicant. Will humanity ever move beyond poverty, religion, and charity? <laughs> Can a priest wandering along the road? Uh, he begs food to feed the orphans. The gods will show favor to those who help less fortunate. Um. Question is, how much does he want? Worthy decision. Um. I'll give five food. I think I can't afford it. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Ooh, it's a 50 50. Yeesh. Damn! No luck, I'm afraid, but take my blessing. You Holy sweet. touch. Undead will physically strike the player, may receive damage themselves. Be nice if, you know, I was actually going up against Undead. Uh, let's go to the middle. Song of the White Minotaur again. Uh, let's see how much donation he wants. This could hurt. I have no gold anyway. Five gold, which I don't have anymore. Damn. Uh, let's go up. Traveling mage. Which I have no gold, so it won't help me. Pass it by. Okay, the big question is... Which way do I go? Because I'm about to run out of food. Jack of Plague. Nice. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. Nice. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Heh. <laughs> well... On that one, I would say you're wrong. And four of plague, I was gonna say. Where is the other enemies? Hammer. Fast. 
poison must do its work. Okay. Well. That wasn't terribly difficult. The queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. For slaughter, your reward. Well, that's one way to put it. Showing the ghost you are merciful when you receive. Sleep in the at the inn. So helping the le people of Lesser Dimsgate, you receive the White Council, too. For joining Mr. Lionel's quest, you gain the Maiden. For feeding the local peasant woman, you receive a uh, map. Draw three, inspect, and put back. Great Helm of Reinforcement. Nice. Lord Freeing Ratman Jack, you receive these new cards. Let's see. Berserker Armor, Scorching Zeal, Calling of the Ratmen, King of Dust, Devil's Carnival, I remember Devil's Carnival, and Ember Town Hero. And what else we get? Ratman Hunting, Ratman Hunting, Ratman Hunting. Come. Play. I do not want to just sit here. Look at the cards you have earned. Now we have enough to begin a real game. That's definitely true. Well, we've gone through a, few, a couple more areas today, so I think we'll call that it. We made a, some decent progress. Um, I'm not sure what I'll stream tomorrow. My gut wants to tell me to do this to the police. But when I saw Dark Void on sale for the Capcom sale, I was like, it's been a long time since I played that one. I'd really like to go back and continue it. But in this case, you know, probably start from the beginning. So I'm not sure. I may do it while the sale's still on, but, I may not, I, but uh, I'll probably wait a day or so and do it uh, later. Because it's been a bit since I've been on this the police. And I don't want to um, leave that one too far behind. Anyway... Thank you guys all for watching. Those of you who saw it live here on Twitch, those of you who made it this far on YouTube, um, hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.